Fasting isn't new. It's been around for thousands of years. Every major religion like Islam, Hinduism, Christianity have been practicing fasting for their spiritual growth and religious beliefs. But what really happens inside your body when you skip a meal or a whole day of eating? Won't you feel tired? Should you really do fasting? Let's break it down step by step of what happens when you fast for 12 hours, 24 hours, 48 hours and even 72 hours. Trust me, by the end of this video, you look at fasting in a completely different way. The first 12 hours, the hormone reset. So if you're fasting for 12 hours without eating, the insulin finally takes some rest. Your body runs out of glucose. That's the sugar from all the food that you've been eating. Generally, your body is like a car that runs on fuel, which is glucose. Since your fuel tank is empty, it needs to switch to a backup fuel. So what happens? Growth hormone spikes. And that's very important because this hormone is the repair guy of your body. It's the ultimate fat burning, muscle repairing, anti-aging hormone. So when the fat burning kicks in, your body starts breaking down the excess stored fat to release some energy. Cause we need some energy to do work, right? This is where most intermittent fasting benefits kick in. 18 hours, the cleanup mode. So if you push your fast to 18 hours, something powerful happens your body enters a state called the autophagy, which is basically a deep cleaning mode. It's your body's way of saying, all right, let's clean up all the junk lying around. It starts repairing and recycling old and damaged cells and clearing out toxins, making space for new and healthier cells. Imagine an old broken sofa in your house. You wouldn't keep it, right? Your body does the same with damaged proteins and cells filled with junk. Autophagy helps with clearing out toxic wastes like amyloid plagues linked to Alzheimer's, recycling old and worn out cells into fresh and new ones, boosting immunity by cleaning up weak or malfunctioning cells. 24 hours, the fat burning mode. After 24 hours, your body runs out of glucose, the easy energy source, and it needs a backup plan. So what does it do? It keeps burning more and more fat. Your body converts fat into something called ketones, which are a super efficient fuel source. Think of your body as a hybrid car. Normally it runs on fuel, that is glucose. But when you fast, it switches to electric mode, that is the fat burning mode, which is efficient and sustainable at that time. 10 grams of ketone provides the same energy as 100 grams of glucose. That's how powerful ketones are. 48 hours the stem cell activation. After 48 hours of fasting, something even more amazing happens. Your body generates stem cells, the master builders of your body. These stem cells replace old, weak, even precancerous cells with brand new fresh ones. If you've ever heard of athletes getting stem cell therapy to heal faster, well, this is your body's natural way of doing the same thing for free. Even your brain creates new neurons. So yes, Fasting might actually make you smarter. 72 hours, the full immune system reset. And if you somehow manage to fast for 72 hours, your immune system gets a full reset. The body wipes out weak old immune cells and replaces them with new powerful ones. New white blood cells are created, making the immune system stronger. The body wipes out precancerous cells before they cause any harm. And here's the surprising part. Most people who fast this long say that they don't even feel hungry anymore. Some scientists actually believe that fasting could help fight autoimmune diseases because the immune system gets a complete reset. So finally, should you fast? You need not go for a crazy 72 hour fast to get benefits. Even a simple 12 to 16 hour fast is enough to start seeing results. Fasting is not a sprint, it's a marathon. It's not about starving yourself, it's about giving a break your body deserves. At the same time, listen to your body and progress at your own pace. Not everyone should fast the same way. If you're having any medical conditions or if you're taking any medications, always consult a doctor before fasting. Fasting is a tool, but it must be used safely based on individual health needs. Have you ever tried fasting? What fasting window works best for you? Share your experience in the comments below. I'll see you in another video. Until then, this is Rakesh signing off.